Okay, so we're going to look at IELTS Task 1 essay, and we've got a classic line, uh, line graph here. We're showing change over time. Um, so let's look at the topic. The graph below shows unemployment rates in the US and Japan between March 1993 and March 1999. Write a report for a university lecturer describing the information below. So first thing I always tell people to check is check the dates on the graph. So it's between 93 to 99, so everything needs to be in past tense. Okay, so first thing to check with yourself when you go back and read your task one essay again, double check your tenses to make sure everything's in past tense. So let's take a quick look and see percentage of workforce. So workforce meaning number of people who can work. So we can see that in 93, it starts with the USA is higher than Japan and the USA is gradually going down with some fluctuations a bit, um, but gradu gradually decreasing while Japan's is gradually increasing over the same period of time until eventually they meet and become similar by 99. So that's the main trend, okay? The USA is, is gradually decreasing, uh, Japan's is gradually increasing until they meet in 1999. So let's see what this candidate said. The graph illustrates the percentage of unemployed workforces in the United States and Japan from March 93 to March 94. Right? So from here to here, this could be paraphrased more and sort of says... You could say over a um, seven, six, over a six-year period. Over a six-year period. Um, and then you could put in brackets 1993 to 1999. Perhaps. So you could paraphrase this rather than just repeating the dates. The percentages of the percentage of the workforce who are unemployed. Is a better way to phrase that. Um, so we've got our introduction sentence, then we've got our summary. Overall, the unemployment rate in Japan showed an upward trend, while that of the US showed a downward trend. Yep, so we've got our, our sort of main trend that they're describing. It's good. In addition, the figure of both countries considerably fluctuated throughout the given period. Um, yep, and considerably fluctuated. So I really like this as a nice um, overview. So remember, in your task one, you need your introduction sentence, you need your overview, okay, and then you need your trend one and your trend two. Um, this is good because it's, it's like I said, it's picked out the main thing, it's going down, it's increasing, and that they both go up and down, they fluctuate a lot. So I think that's a very solid introduction, very solid overview, no problems. So we've got trend one, in detail, Japan had 2.5% of people who were unemployed at the beginning of the period showing the lowest rate of unemployment for the percentage having a significant increase of 3.7% in March 1994. This is a confusingly phrased sentence. I was with him, or I was with, I was with the candidate, Showing the lowest rate of unemployment up until about here. And then the second half of the sentence was confusing to me. Um, I think here you want to compare to the USA, I think. They showed the lowest rate of unemployment compared to the USA. So they're just describing Japan here, I think. After that, the figure fluctuated between 36 and 3.8% during a year, after which it constantly increased to 4.4 million. So I think the best thing to, to do when you're looking at your trends is that in your overview, you've already identified the two trends. So um, so the body one should be talking about how the US plus Japan um, met or became equal. So the increase and the decrease part. And then your second trend is the, but would be focused on the fluctuation. Okay, you've already given me one here and then two. So what you, this kind of done is that they've just decided to talk about Japan and then just talk about America, um, which is fine, but there's not showing enough comparison. Okay, so don't forget that you want to be comparing the two trends a little bit as they go through. So you're not showing me any comparison language, which is going to increase your grammar score. Um, after which it constantly constantly, consistently. Um, if something's constant, it's not changing. Well, if something's consistent, it can be changing, but in a consistently, it go, happens over and over again. So it should be consistently changing. It's in Japan increasing after a slight dip in the peak for a gradual decrease in the following period. So you've, I mean, it is it, it it is accurate, like what they're describing here. They're using nice words, increase, decrease, fluctuation. But I'm really just missing my comparison. 
between the USA and Japan. And then this is much shorter. I mean, this is much longer and this is much shorter. Um, so I don't know whether they ran out of time. It feels like maybe they ran out of time a bit and didn't have enough time to write about the USA, but it makes their answer feel a bit unbalanced. Um, so like I said, I, I think what I would have done is I would have focused on the overview topics that they picked up. The rate of unemployment in the U.S., on the other hand, started with 7% and then gradually decreased over the given time period. Over the given time period, with significant fluctuations, notably the figure was overtaken by that of Japan in mid-1998 at about 5.2%, but it took the lead again in March 1999 at approximately 5%. Here was some nice phrases, approximately 5%. The figure was overtaken by that of Japan in mid-1998 at about 5.2%. These are all that that's a particularly sort of nice sort of phrase, so it's quite natural. Um so yeah, I mean I suppose it's fine what they've done. I would think I would have just structured it in a different way. So let's look at uh grammar. The, the grammar is pretty good. Just this first sentence here, like I said, is kind of confusing the way they phrased it. Um their grammar is particularly quite good all the way through so I think I'll probably give um, a 6.0 for grammar and then I just want them to show more um, particularly like I said in terms of comparing a little bit show some comparing types of sentences vocabulary I thought was was, was very strong so I, I want to give a 6.5 I could see an argument to increase that up to a 7 because I thought they had some very nice phrases like I said a significant increase um, considered to be fluctuated um, a little bit more paraphrasing, a little bit of rephrasing once one or two places. So I probably put it at six point five. Coherence and cohesion. They had an overview. They had an introduction. They had two paragraphs. Paragraphing was fine. I would give um, probably a six point oh, and I would want again to see a bit more comparison. Um, and then task achievement six point five. They described the trends. The tone was formal. I thought that was fine. So I think overall a six point five uh, for this answer. Um, and I would just like to, again, like I said, see a bit more comparison and they just need to do a bit of rephrasing in places and just be careful um, of some of their sentence structures. But overall, I thought a pretty solid task one answer.